I'm gonna start my today's video with a great weapon which you might have missed in Moonrise Towers. This special glyph comes with a spell called Draconic Elemental Weapon which gives plus 1 to attack rolls and adds 1 to 4 damage according to your choice including thunder and lightning. It doesn't need concentration and you can use it in almost any weapon. If you do not want to keep it equipped then there is no problem. Just use the spell and unequip it later. The additional damage effect stays till your next long rest. And if you have a sorcerer in your party you can use twin spell to use it on two of your party members at a time. You can buy it from a merchant called Roam Moonglow from Moonrise Towers. This weapon costs a lot of gold, still it is worth buying in my opinion. Next one is a chest which is a super hidden one. Super hidden in the sense that if you are not careful enough there is a big chance that you have missed it. Let me show you. Look at this cracked wall. Did you notice it before? This wall comes with a lot of resistance. Use a bludgeoning weapon and you are good to go. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Not a big reward, but it always feels good when you find a hidden thing. Next up is a secret shadow summon which can be found in Balthazar's hidden room. To get there, let me show you the path from Zeral's room. Unlock this door with its key or by any other way. You need to keep Gale in your party for the whole thing to work. Go near the bookshelf and press on the upper right corner. Now take this out from the stable to open the secret room. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Take a dead pixie and a broken moon lantern from the stable. So where did that magic come? An object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within, a thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. A ritual circle. Judging by the shadow sigils inscribed, it was used in the creation of Balthazar's moon lanterns. Though its power is weakened, you could still use the shattered pixies Balthazar discarded to craft one final lantern. Just craft the shadow lantern to get this summon. The negative side here is you will always have to keep the lantern equipped for the summon. And also the summon is not very powerful in my opinion. Instead of the summon, if you decide to erase the ritual setup then you will get some buff which will give you advantage on concentration check. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. For the briefest moment, you feel the touch of a reassuring hand on your shoulder. Mistra has noted your service. Unfortunately, this buff ended after my next long rest. From that secret room, if you go through a specific path, you'll see something that you might not have seen before. You'll see some imp-like mutants complaining about the absolute. You can use your dialogue options to make them kill each other. Silence! We are 
Absolute promised us a feast of corpses, and still we starve. Feed an army of us. If the Absolute will not share her dead flesh, we will tear it from the backs of the living. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. You would never! The feet are mine! No! Get away! Once they're dead, just go a bit forward and you'll find a chest down there. Looking at this wall, I thought that I have found something new. Sadly, I have just landed on first floor. There is another secret chest with a lot of floors near Balthazar's room, but I had a creative plan this time about this chest. Let's get to the chest first. The dog relaxes, as if reassured by your observance of protocol. It turns away and utterly ignores you, as it would any lowly foot soldier. Shadowheart killed it with one shot. I wanted to see this mimic back in life as a summon, so I took it into my inventory and fast traveled to Underdark. My friend Glad helped me here to fulfill my desire. Such a unique display, right? I was curious to know what happens if I try to leave Shadowcast lands just before killing Getharic in Mindflare colony. Fast travel was already disabled in map by that time, so I tried to go directly. We're yet to uncover the secret of the Absolute. You must return to Moonrise Towers while Ketherick is weak. The Dream Visitor started giving warning. What happened next? See it for yourself. You would have done better to heed my warning. I thought you trusted me. I was wrong. And it will cost us everything. Your stomach drops. Your chest constricts. Your thoughts begin to splinter. You are found.
game over. So guys, that was the video for today. Visit my channel to get more Baldur's Gate 3 videos like this. Subscribe if you like. Till then, have a nice day. Goodbye.